He seemed to be taken by surprise, but leaned into our kiss. It was deep and passionate. Alan then pressed up against me and I could immediately feel his excitement. Okay, this is not a drill. Go away. Why, hello there. I hope you guys are having a good day, a fantastic day. I know everybody keeps saying like, oh, every time they hear my wife, hello there. It sounds fake, but trust me, I say hello to everybody like that. Hi. <laughs> this is my dear hatchet man. I know absolutely nothing about this game except for him glaring at me like that. Please don't kill me, sir. I know it's multiple choices. It shouldn't be that long. And yeah, that's all I know. So if you are new here and this is your first game that you see me in, hi, hello. I hope you guys continue to stay and consider hitting that subscribe button. It truly helps me out. I'm not like these other YouTubers where they're like, Oh, it really, really helps me out. When meanwhile, if you don't subscribe, there's like 40 people behind you that um, watches their videos and makes secret fake or fake alt accounts to help them out and stuff. No, this really helps me out. It continues to allow me to do the things that I want to do. So, uh, thank you. If you did hit the subscribe button and you did like the video and stuff. So, let's get started. What is your name? Type it in and press enter. We all know what I'm going to type in. Well, I was going to type in Johnny, but then I see it's called Hatchet Man. And I saw that there is a romance. So if I can get a romance and it's it's a guy, I'm just saying. And this music's kind of groovy. Yep. I can choose female. Uh, gender type is female. Is that okay? <clears throat> It was somewhat of an old habit of mine to walk. Every night I walked. Do the consistency of my routine. <laughs> I bit my tongue saying consistency. <laughs> Walking helped me to put my mind at ease and numb out the fresh, cool nights. Hmm. You said nights. Ooh. I don't know if you should be walking at night, honey. Besides, it was a good source to wear down, wear me down before bed. I don't have to rely on sleeping mess as much. <laughs> what did I just skip? Are you serious? Okay, okay, I didn't skip anything. Somehow I hit the the, the speed by button. I'm sorry, I'm messing up. All, I'm trying to get my um, headset to sit comfortably, but it won't sit freaking comfortably. So like I'm like extremely uncomfortable. There we go. I think that's better. There was nothing fun about laying in bed, having my eyes glued to the ceiling, disassociating. I have become so familiar with the path, staring at the same damaged sidewalk, hitting a couple of pebbles with the tip of my shoe. I would usually disappear into the woods for 20 minutes or so. I wouldn't call myself a nature lover per se. Hell, I could not imagine myself abandoning my phone. But at night, the woods were all I wanted. I don't know why, but this wood has been the only place that gave me motivation to move, to get out of bed. College hasn't been too kind to me. Boy, college hasn't been too kind to anybody. Don't worry about it, honey. And having just moved out of my, on my own just recently made me feel all the more isolated. Was there something wrong with me? No. Taking little walks to relax at night to sleep is normal. No, it's not. It is not. It is not. Well, okay, so I've heard of people saying like, oh, I like to wear myself out to go to bed type of thing. So it's, I, I get it. I understand it. I just don't. It's not a normal thing. I don't think it's a normal thing to want to just wear yourself out. And usually people resort to other things. But that's that's neither here or there I never stray from the path it's practically become burned into my memory and I was kind of proud of that it was like my own secret hideout where if I could one day just disappear from it all however today I felt bold and so I wander off of my usual path heading into the wild girl are you insane there is no way I could not. 
never will I will ever just wander off in the woods like hmm let, I know what's I know what your skin tone is <laughs> I don't have to even say it <laughs> I know what your skin tone is at first the new environment felt nice without noticing some kind some kind time some kind of Jesus some time kind of flew by <laughs> I could not get that out I swear to you I tried some time kind of flew by and all my sense of direction withered away and now I find myself confused and alone in the woods. Fuck. I couldn't recognize any noticeable landmarks to help my way out. Oh, how funny is this? I feel like the final girl at a camping slasher movie being tracked down by a killer. Fuck, I'm so stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Of course I was going to... <laughs> I'll hit my elbow saying that. Because I was going to end up lost. Great. Not only am I lost, it's dark, no stars, only the faint light of the moon, not doing much help. But I'm losing sleep as we know it. I could feel the soles of my feet starting to ache. Perhaps now... Might be a good time to collect myself before I have a full-blown meltdown in the middle of the woods. I lay my head low, feeling a heavy weight on me. I took a few deep breaths and cried. I'm letting y'all know I am going to freaking cry. There is no way. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell. I get lost in the woods. I am going to I'm lost. Cry like there is just no way. I am gonna sit there silently and just be like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'll be okay. I'll just keep wandering on, tra la 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 la, and then a bear eat me." No, I don't care. And don't say you have to be deep in the woods for that to happen. Because tell me how bears be ending up in people's backyards. Tell me how bears be ending up like on the streets and stuff. No, y'all ain't gonna sit here and lie to me. Nope. I'm gonna cry. Too late. I couldn't help it. <laughs> But feel warm, frustrated tears run down my face. I let out a soft sob, forcing myself to stay as quiet as possible. For God's sakes, I really don't know where I, the hell I am. Snap. <gasps> the deafened silence was erupted by what seemed like a twig. What the hell made that sound? I jumped, startled. I took a few steps back, nearly losing my balance. Wherever that sound came from, I didn't see anything. Aw, oh, don't cry. A muffled voice came from behind me. I quickly turned around to see a person. Oh, hello. He's cute. Look at him. He's got a couple of scars, which make me worry, but he's cute himself. Like, okay, I like you. I could, I could not make out his features well his hair was wild sticking out from the top of his head he was holding something a hatchet am I about to get murdered my muscles tense up as I prepared to make a break for it <laughs> I was gonna say something totally different anyway I ain't even gonna say it cause my mind's in the gutter right now he's cute <laughs> He seemed to notice my mannerisms. Hey. He held up his hands, letting the hatchet slip from his fingers onto the grass. His movements were slow and harmless. Take it easy. Who the hell are you? Just some guy trying to help you out. That's it. Aw, he's just trying to help. That wasn't very comforting at all. Especially now that he's reached over to the ground, retrieving his hatchet, and casually swing it over his shoulders. Why the hell did he sneak up like that? Because you were gonna do what you- I, Me? I would take off running. I'd have been like, who the hell are you? He's like, just some guy trying to help you. And when, as soon as he said help, I would have booked it. I wouldn't have not- Nope. Mm -mm. I don't know what you're trying to do. You got a hatchet in your hand in the woods? Nah. <laughs> What the next thing you gonna tell me? You got some cabin somewhere out here? Nah, I'm good. Why was he in the woods? Has he been following me? Where did you come from? 
I live here actually, just a couple of miles. No, you don't. Every time somebody say, oh, just say yeah, a couple of miles. Yeah, back that way. Nope, yeah, he's trying to take me out so and kill me. <laughs> Got my own place and everything. Why do you have an ax? Also, I wasn't crying. It's a hatchet, first of all. Sure. Hee hee hee. Are you gonna murder me? What? No. I was getting some firewood. Is it, <laughs> it is starting to get cold around here. Is it really cold? See, feel it for yourself, girl. I was still trying to come down from the adrenaline. I didn't even notice the chilly breeze. I started connecting the dots. He was probably telling the truth. I am not at all experienced in forest living. Who am I to tell him that he doesn't know what he's talking about? So why exactly did you come here? Well, you want to get out of here, don't you? I know the way around. I know my way around, excuse me. I looked at my phone for a few seconds. Maybe I'm being too paranoid. He doesn't seem like he has any intentions of hurting someone. See, Voya, not everyone's out to get you. Just follow him so he can take you back home. How do you know where my home is? In case you are still skeptical, you can go behind me. That doesn't make me feel any better, but you're adorable. He offered his out his hand. Of course I hesitated, but I took it anyway. I could feel his fingerless gloves as he gave me his hand, hand a tight squeeze. He had some coarseness, but it didn't bother me. I mean, if he if he's telling the truth and he really does live out in the woods and stuff, then yeah, okay, I get it. Like his hands would be kind of coarse and stuff, but but I mean, it just means he a work in my hand. That's all that means. He just he just a work in my hand. It. Uh, let me move this real quick because if it hits me in the eye again, I'm gonna scream. Jesus Christ! It took us a good while to get back. I must have really wandered way far off than I expected. The trees were becoming less dense, and I could see his traits more and more. His eyes were practically striking. They were both different. <laughs> I shouldn't be staring. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't, because, you know, he got crazy eyes, but it's okay. I mean, you know, sometimes for him, they look nice. <laughs> Seems kind of rude. In fact, the whole time I've been <laughs> acting rude, huh? Hey, um... Hmm? Sorry for being kind of reluctant back there. <laughs> he simply shrugged and smiled at me. Uh, I don't blame you. <laughs> Excuse me, I had to burp. I mean, if I was in your position... I would have probably freaked out if I saw a random guy with an axe approach me as well. Hatchet. Sure. <laughs> they see that seemed to get a laugh out of him and let out some of the tension as well. It's been a while since I laughed. Nowadays, I've been feeling like I have <laughs> been so isolated. Yeah, it's a good. I mean, nowadays it's very good to be isolated. I'm surprised I could achieve a conversation with him, let alone other people. With the time, the dirt path merged with the edge of the sidewalk. Thank God we made it. What a relief. There you go. Oh my God, thanks. I would be hugging and kissing this man. Although he is kind of cute, but I mean, I mean, just like cheek kissing him like heavily because oh my god thank you so much get me out of the woods and I would never go back I did notice that I was still holding his hand he gave me a smile a small smile before I stuffed my hands into my pockets other than having a breakdown in the woods this entire experience wasn't that bad I'll see you around then he continued to stand in place while I turned my back from the woods Walking into the neighborhood once again. Stopping at my front door, I gave him one last wave. I couldn't really tell from a distance, but it seemed like he waved back. I'm so tired. 
Exhausted, I immediately threw myself into my bed, finally able to get some rest. My eyes, they feel heavy. That stranger, he seemed nice. I didn't catch his name. I'll ask tomorrow. <laughs> my body is aching. I feel like someone's on top of me. Oh God, he snuck in my house. <laughs> that, that's it. I said I'm gonna die, that's all. I I'll see you guys later. <laughs> that's This is it. Oh God, how long did I sleep for? It seemed way too bright to be early in the morning. I guess I must have been incredibly late when I slept. Yeah, it, it was. It was definitely super late when you slept, especially when you got lost for so long last night. Memories started flooding back in to the encounter. Excuse me. I had with that stranger in the woods. I feel like I feel some soft, a uh, uh, soft, some sort, boy, uh, dummy, dummy, dummy. Oh. I'm so sorry, y'all. I was rubbing my eye and it looked like it says soft, but it says sort. <laughs> I feel some sort of mix of comforting jitter sneaking in. I mean, you would feel that with a guy that, bar that you barely know helped you do something or protected you or saved you, quote, saved you. I had only moved in a few weeks ago. But now knowing that he has been in the woods this entire time. I've been exploring them. Mm, that's also creepy too. It was a little uneasy to process. It's like a part of my privacy had been exposed. Yeah, because you, you could assume that someone that's sitting in the woods and stuff is probably watching you the whole time. Especially, I mean, he doesn't have a TV. You know he doesn't have a TV. To be fair, I do feel a little silly thinking that. I didn't own the woods. If anything, I invaded his privacy by going off the usual path. Although, I haven't lived here for very long. I am surprised I haven't heard about a man living in the forest. Then again, it's not like I'm really chatty with my neighbors to inform me about it. Was I thinking too much about this? Am I being insensitive? Should I be feeling like a like I want to run into him again <laughs> oh god she has that it's a it's not I wasn't gonna say, I didn't mean disease but it's like a mental thing where you get attached to your captors or something like that I don't is it Stockholm syndrome I think that's what it's called please don't develop that for somebody you barely know cuz I will scope I will go back to the beginning and change your name instantly should I be wanting to feel like I want to run into him again? I didn't ask his na for his name. Uh, check your phone. Get out of bed. Let's get out of bed. With a groan, I forced myself up from <laughs> the comfort of my bed. I think it's, I know a lot of people get up. The first thing they do, they check their phones and stuff. I'm one of those people that sometimes check my phones. But I think the first thing you should actually be doing is getting up, brushing your teeth. Um and all that good stuff i groaned and forced myself up from the comfort of my bed to be honest it seemed better to do something than to be slacking around in my sheets this has been the first time i have been motivated to do anything in a while that's kind of sad also we did go back to the woods okay it seems like a stupid decision to go back to the forest just to thank a stranger. I am so sorry, you guys. My mother called me and I was trying to maneuver around her and talk to you guys and stuff and, and mute the phone and stuff. But she just constantly kept getting my, the phone kept getting my attention. Anybody else has a mom that just calls them 42 times all the time? Maybe it's just me. Anyways, we left off where it says... Seems like a stupid decision to go back into the forest just to thank a stranger. Of course it is. <laughs> Dangerous, some might say. I mean, at least the sun was still out, so it wouldn't be as bad as staying in the woods at night, right? I stuffed my phone into my pocket and prepared to get <laughs> ready. Oh, God. Get ready for what? He didn't seem like a... I'm not going to say he seemed like a bad person. Let me turn this light off. Here we go.
that light was bothering me. He didn't seem like a bad person. He just didn't seem like the right person to be sitting here uh, trying to go back and visit. He had a lot of scars and stuff and he was a little tad, like an itty bit pale. I walked back into the familiar path. The cool air was sharp as ever. I could feel it nipping at the tip of my nose. I tried to recall the path I took that that initially got me lost yesterday. It didn't take long for me to fall back into the daze, feeling <laughs> senselessly strayed. <laughs> you went back to it. Good job, Boya. All right, Boya. Just thank him and you can go on your merry way and get some shut eye. Simple as that. No, it's not. It's never that simple when you're dealing with a bad boy because he seemed like the bad boy type so i'm just like Ooh, he he could be the bad boy type you know the ones that you know see the good guys want to give you the vanilla missionary type of guys that are sweet and then there's those raunchy let me eat it from the back guys i'm just saying this one seemed like a let me munch munch from the back if you don't know what i'm talking about you're too young to be on my channel Please go away. I don't want you, you having to ask your mom what does munch munch from the back me. Please don't. Thoughts start to speculate in my head the more I, <laughs> I paced around in a frantic circle. I, I just thought about somebody really asking their mom that. Why am I being stupid? He should be here, right? Why did I think this was a good idea? It would be nice to have someone to share the woods with. What if it hurts me like you did? Oh, you're here again. Oh, thank God. I might have been <laughs> my desperation, but the sound of his voice took a huge wave of relief. I turned around too eagerly, seeing a smug expression on his face. He made me happy in a way. You seem to get easily lost. What if I wasn't here to help you out, Doe Eyes? Did he just call me Doe Eyes? Like a doe, like the, like the baby deers? Oh, they're so cute! No, 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 mm-mm. Voya, don't get trapped in the bad boy, no. His comment made me play with the hem of my sweater. I could feel my cheeks starting to burn. Hopefully, he didn't notice. Well. I actually came to see you. Why did I say it like that? I wanted to thank you. Properly, I mean. I know I already did last night, but might have come off as crass. I feel bad about the whole ordeal. I'm starting to ramble at this point. I need to get this over with before I come off as hysterical. So, um, thank you. Uh, Alan. I'm sorry? My name is Alan. Might as well get that out of the way. Oh, well, thanks for helping me out, Alan. I gave his name a try. It came out softer than how I usually speak. I noticed him begin to smile, avoiding eye contact. Um... I, I'm only laughing because I'm, cause I know what this is. This is a bad boy. You's a bad boy. <clears throat> this is the type of dude that borrow your car, and don't come back for two days. And then when you get mad that he stole, took your car, stole it. It's stole, it's stealing. When you get mad, he stole your car. It's like um, you get he gets like. I can't believe that you would get mad that I stole your car. Didn't I tint the windows? Like, that's the type of guy that this seems like a little bit. I noticed he began to smile, avoiding eye contact. I was beginning to feel the silence between us start to grow. No problem. Besides, it is really sweet of you to come back just to tell me that. Oh, my. Oh, he was flirting. Oh, I did. What? Ooh. <laughs> Okay, for the views, for the views, I flattered you. It was kind of cute how he became so bashful, then flirtatious so, so suddenly. Sorry, excuse me. 
I can't even speak now. He's got me tongue-tied. Let my boyfriend find out about this and you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> I couldn't help but smile back at him. He began to start a whole different conversation from there. At first, it was just a regular small talk. Most of it was about me, of course. I told him what I did for a living and what I was currently studying. He seemed to be a good listener, or at least I think he was trying to be. It became evident that I kind of ran out of things to talk about. It was only fair to ask about him, right? I don't want to make it seem like I only like talking about myself. Not to sound rude or anything, but... Hmm? I'm a little curious about your whole thing here. Oh. I know I just moved in, and it's none of my business, but why do you live all the way out here? How come no one has ever told me about you? He seemed to give me some, uh, give us some thought to my question. Sorry, I'm messing up all over the place. Jesus. He simply gave me a shrug. Don't know. I always figured I'd live better. On my own, I guess. At least, that's what I think. So maybe he was a bit of a hermit. I totally don't mean to judge him. In a way, I kind of do feel for him not want, not wanting to interact with others. He was just a little more on the opposite end. To be fair, you just said the same thing that you didn't want to interact with people either. So it's not like you're judging him. However, you're kind of judging him. Like you're being a little hypocrite. <laughs> Don't be a hypocrite, Voya. Maybe he thinks I'm a little we weird one for wanting to interact with him. It's not every day someone just comes back to thank, <laughs> thank you for helping them out in the woods. For a loner, he sure was easy to talk to. He was the one of the first stars. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. One of the first stars, Jesus. <laughs> he was one to start <laughs> to first start a conversation better than I ever could. Excuse me. I cannot read today. Hey. He snapped me out of it like he knew I was about to get lost in my thoughts. Want to go check something out? I think you might like it. I blinked. The way he worded it sound very vague. I don't know. It depends. Are you going to trick me and plan my murder? <laughs> Sounds very fishy of you, Alan. Of course, I would make this perfect person because, of course, I would make a joke like that. You guys have ever been in a situation where, like, you make morbid jokes? <laughs> that, that, that's me. Like, I, there was one time I thought I was sick. Like, like, uh, ill, ill, like, gonna croak you. <laughs> and I was just sitting in my house and I'd be like, well, at least y'all can write my will to uh, turn me upside down so people who I hate can kiss my ass. J. Adj. Okay, I said adj. So, um, yeah, like, and even though I'm terrified, <laughs> I'm just saying, I was like 18. I still make jokes like that. When I feel sick or something, I always make morbid jokes and I hate it. Or if I seem like my, like I'm scared, I make morbid jokes. I know there's, there's probably some psychiatrist that knows why people do that. I just don't know why I do that. I joked and he seemed to get a good laugh out of it. It was not very, it was not a very good joke, but it felt good to just laugh with someone. Maybe I needed this. I just need to talk to someone. I mean, might as well, right? Good. He seemed extremely pleased that I agreed. He took a hold of my shoulder to guide me in the direction he planned to take me. <laughs> this time he let me be in front. He's like, well, I mean, since you came back out here, I got my hatchet. <laughs> shink, shink. We both took our time walking through the forest, having a whole casual conversation to make up for it. It felt like being reunited with an old friend and trying to catch up on lives together, on your lives together. It was nice. Being to share some stuff to us, uh, blah, 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 messed it up. I begin to share some stuff with Al. <laughs> Alan that I haven't been able to talk about for a while 
In return, he told me little things about himself. Oh, so he's still kind of closed off. I took notice of him trying to crush crunchy leaves under his shoes, sometimes getting bummed if it didn't crunch. It's kind of cute. I noticed his skin looked slightly more sickly pale. Tiny. But still noticeable scratches across his cheeks. I would noticed that too, the little red marks and stuff, even the one on his arms. They're kind of cute. Just hopefully he didn't get them from like his victims. And his eyes bore dark circles. It almost looked like he was about to collapse, but he looked so gentle. He seemed to have noticed that I was looking at him. Oh no, I got caught. I ducked my head, scratching the side of my cheek before I come up with an excuse that I was totally wasn't staring at him. Alan pushed my head down, getting into my knees rather painfully. See, I'm telling <laughs> this is that bad boy. Like, I know, girl, I know you got lost in there. Open your mouth and he pushed your head down. See, you too young. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't need to know what I'm talking about. Go to bed. What are you doing up watching visual novels on YouTube? What the hell? Shh. Alan crashed down beside me, carefully moving closer to what seemed like a small stream with wildflowers and vegetation, almost like a mini meadow covered the entire land. Then I see a deer. Oh, he brought you to see a deer. Isn't that cute? It was happily nibbling on grass and occasionally would twitch its cute fluffy tail. Both me and Alan did move a muscle so as to not scare the cute creature, but he still enjoyed the view. Little cutie, ain't he? I always come here to see if he was around. Oh my God, not only is he a bad boy, but he's got a major side to him. Like, oh my God, nothing's cuter than a guy nursing back a baby deer. Oh, I'm so don't don't i'm gonna stop because see that i got caught in a trap you see you don't want to be like me don't be like boy you just, i just got caught in the, trap, in the trap just now see y'all don't want to be like me don't be like me that was adorable <laughs> who knew alan has such a sensitive soul at least see i'm voya in the game is also falling for it too at least that's what i thought it may not come as a surprise to you, but my favorite animals are deers. <sighs> That's why you called me doe eyes before. Do I remind you of a deer, Alan? Alan stayed quiet, a little taken back by my question. However, another sound stopped him from responding. He got lucky. Huh? They're new. Another deer emerged from the woods, joining in. I couldn't deny it was rather an adorable sight to see. Maybe it's more than one reason. What is it, was that? It was barely a whisper. I could only manage to hear a few words from him. Nothing. Anyways. Is someone calling my phone again? Oh my goodness. I'm going to ignore this one this time. I'm going to ignore this one. I got y'all. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh, God, I can still hear it vibrating. Stop it. Nothing. Anyways, want to grab a bite to eat? I know where there's a store not too far from here. Why not? I'm getting peckish. He swiftly got to his feet again, not bothering to dust off his clothes. He still had the decency to hold his hand out for me to get up. Oh, at least he has, like, manners. Like, that's the best thing is that he has manners. All right, we probably won't take long to if we get. Blah, blah, blah. We probably won't take long if we get going now. Oh my goodness! One second, you guys. Okay, I'm so sorry. This is the last time someone's gonna take my attention away from this game. I swear, it's every time I start to record, I get the call stuff. You'll hear the phone ring again. I tried to ignore it, but my mom has something important she's doing. But don't worry about it. It, it should be. It should be taken care of. I don't know. Anyway, much like before, he kept holding my hand through the entire walk back to civilization. 
It stopped feeling so foreign, as if I knew Alan and trusted him enough to hold my hand. Oh, so at least we are, we're starting to trust him a little bit. I don't know why he made me feel so safe. I feel melodramatic thinking about it. Everything seemed to get blurry and I could feel my stomach doing flips. That's called falling in love. <laughs> Aww. It was then that the obnoxiously bright lights of the store pulled me out of a trance. There were a couple of people in the small store, most of them adults collecting some boxes of beer. Alan started scanning around as if to memorize where everything was. His attention was immediately caught by the ice aisle. His smile brightened like a child. Pick anything you want. It's on me. Oh, daddy taking care of me. You better stop, Alan. How generous of him. I looked around and decided to get. Oh, my God. You new to this channel, you don't know, but my obsession is ice cream. Don't ever play with me when it comes to ice cream. I reached in the cold freezer, grabbing myself whatever seemed most appealing. Alan flashed me a smile. He seemed giddy like he got the same thing. That we got the same thing. So he seemed giddy that we got the same thing. I messed up. I'm so sorry. He got, got everything? Yeah, let's go. We left the store. Basking in our glorious treats, Alan proceeded to scarf his ice cream down. You're gonna choke yourself eating like that? Then that's how I wanna go. Here lies Alan. Death by ice cream. <laughs> he dramatically puts his hand on his heart and lowers his head all gloomy. I snort and playfully push him, though I could barely manage to make him lose his footing. People will think you died from lactose then. I mean, I kind of am lactose intolerant, just a little bit. <sighs> am I Alan? <laughs> okay, so uh, I kind of, I am lactose intolerant. I really am, but I cannot live without ice cream. I'm telling you, if ice cream goes out, <sighs> I will be so depressed. And you took that risk? I li like to live on the edge. I roll my eyes. No, seriously. <laughs> I stole five chocolate bars. What? I stole five chocolate bars while nobody was looking? Alan! What? You shoplifted? He gave me a brown smirk, unzipping his coat, showing me his loot. I was dumbfounded. I couldn't freaking believe it. This man just robbed a store. How did I even, how did I not even notice him? He must have been real sneaky or quick. You should see the look on your face right now. He reached in, grabbing one from his stash. Are you serious? This man took me to the store, told me everything was on him, and then he shoplifted. <laughs> these bad boys, I'm telling y'all, this is a bad boy right here. You can't just, that isn't, ugh. I said it was on me, right? They aren't gonna waste their time over some crap like stolen candy. Besides, his fingers fidgeted with the wrapper, prying it open and taking a bite before nudging it towards me. Stolen stuff tastes better. Hesitantly, I reach over and took the tiniest bite. <laughs> You're already in, don't worry about it. You should have took a whole bite. I couldn't explain it, but he was right. It was like a, the forbidden candy bar. Still, I feel kind of bad that he went out of his way to steal stuff from me. I offered him a taste of yours. Stay silent. Offer him a taste. It only seems fair, right? It was the least I could do. I motioned my ice cream towards him. At first, it gave me a confusing look, but soon got the hint. But soon got the hint. Excuse me. Oh, look how cute he is! Biting my ice cream and holding my hand. Ah. Uh, he leaned down, accepting my offer. Unknowingly, he grazed the top of my hand as I held my ice cream. Or maybe he did. Maybe he did it on purpose. I'm sorry, my phone was ringing again. 
I could feel him tightening his grip slightly as he looked at me. I could feel the tips of his ears, <laughs> tips of my ears, his ears, my, <laughs> my ears beginning to heat up. I could not look anywhere else besides his gaze. You have a good taste, doe eyes. Oh my god. And I wash my booty, so as you know it's clean, so I'm just saying, you better stop. He only smiled at me before walking away and continued to eat his forbidden chocolate bar. Hey! I followed him soon after. He walked all the way back to my house eating the stolen candy. I got some sort of cheap thrill knowing we could have potentially gotten caught and Alan shared that feeling as well. Being with him was thrilling. I didn't notice how late it had gotten as soon as I reached the comfort of my bed. I felt tired, sure, but I also felt satisfied, at ease. Whatever I felt, I knew I was going to see him again tomorrow. Huh? I open my eyes, but I can't see anything. I try to feel around, but nothing appears to be in front of me. Ugh. My fingers started to tighten around my throat. I started ugh, to claw desperately. My lungs feel like they're about to collapse. What kind of nightmares are these? Oh my god, I really, I'm really afraid that one of these aren't going to be a nightmare and Alan's going to appear. Holy crap! What a way to start my morning. Uh, let's check messages, why not? For freak's sake, it isn't a person, <laughs> it isn't even a person that woke me up. Instead, it's some GD emergency alert. Something about another missing person? Seems like it's all out of control. My head was pounding and I felt incredibly drained. The time reminded me that I gotten so <laughs> sorry, I got only measly three hours. Let me whew, stop looking at my phone. I'm <laughs> recording and having my phone so close by and it's ringing. I'm so afraid that's gonna make me have to edit stuff out and. I already have to edit some stuff out because I had to sit on the phone with my mom for 30 minutes and stuff. But anyways, or at least I stopped the recording in, but I still have to edit some stuff out because I didn't think we were going to be on the phone for 30 minutes. But still, it makes me so anxious. So it gives me this like rush feeling like I have to hurry up and record type of thing. So I do apologize if it sounds like I'm rushing. I'm not trying to rush. It's just ugh, today's just not today. The time reminded me that I only got a measly three hours of sleep last night. A half empty bottle of sleeping meds on, my, on its side. I did not want to get up. I wanted to see Alan though. I wonder what he's gonna plan today. Oh, it's like they're dating. <laughs> oh God, I fell in a trap again. See, you see how easy it is? I had a knack for keeping me on, he had a knack for keeping me on my toes and surprising me. He makes me feel warmth every time I think about him. He was kind of strange, but it was a, in a charming way. It was charming in a way, but sorry, I, I, I messed up, but we're going to keep going. It, it was charming in a way. Well, if I was going to see him, I might as well get ready. Despite the rough morning, I didn't feel quite as tired as I did before. It could be because I was pretty much looking forward to meeting up with the local cryptic man I met two days ago. Cryptic, huh? It was certainly worth getting lost in the woods just to hang out with Alan. Much better than wasting my time being cooped up inside my home. Water bottles and dirty laundry taking up some space. <laughs> right on cue, I see Alan from a distance waiting for me, I presume. He appeared to be playing around with the hatchet before noticing my presence. He cutely waved at me with the biggest grin on his face. Did he always have sharp mol molars? I almost could not say that word. Voya, you made it. Hey, Alan. Sorry if I was late. Not really. You're right on time, actually. Really? Huh. I figured because of my lack of sleep, it would have arrived later than I expected. Alan rested his hand on his knees, trying to get an eye get 
at my eye level, blah, excuse me. He was really close. Ready for what I have planned for today? He flashed me a hopeful smile. How could I say no to this excitement? Yeah, let's... Uh-oh. Before I could answer, my phone went off. Uh, sorry. It feels rude to answer a phone while Alan is around waiting for me to answer. What if the call was something important? Hey. Hey, what's up? Immediately after speaking, I looked over at Alan, who seemed to have an annoying expression on his face. Oh, no. Sorry if I'm bothering you. You have a moment? Uh, I know it's the end of the week, and trust me, I want nothing more than to shun the rest of the world as well, but... But... I want this, I want you to meet me at the park, is that okay? Uh, I don't see why not. Erica, oh, okay, so it's an Erica girl, okay. Erica might have needed something from me. It wouldn't be cool to leave her, <laughs> leave her like that. Sure thing. Can I bring a friend over? My eyes hover over to Alan. His annoying face now, bright, <laughs> brighten with a mention of him. Oh, he just want to be included. You can, oh God, he went back to being angry again. Although once I took my eyes off him, I could have sworn that his smile dropped once again. As long as you get your hermit ass over here, I don't, <laughs> I don't see the harm. Don't be late or I'll end up ditching ya. I don't care if you ditch me, you invited me. <laughs> I was planning on spending a whole entire lovely day with Alan, so I don't care. I couldn't tell if she was joking or not. She has a strange sense of humor as sometimes I felt flew over my head. We both hung up and looked back and I looked back at Alan. His displeased face was replaced by a curious one. Whoa. He appeared to be looking at my phone. Guess I have been gone for a while. What? My phone? You've never seen a phone before? Oh no, not that. I have one, but... Alan proceeds to reach in his pocket, pulling something out. Don't pull, don't hatch at me. It was a phone, an old flip phone. I didn't see these bricks of... <laughs> Why do you have a flip phone? How long you been in the forest? For what seems like forever. Mine isn't as cool as yours. He smiled bashfully before putting his phone away. Wow, you need to get caught up with the current times, Alan. Our phones do much more stuff now. Ah, that's incredible. Oh, goodness gracious. And it... He's ignorant, so it's kind of, it's it's a cute ignorant. Like, oh, what's that? That's, that's, that's cute. We both start to walk to the park as I show him all the apps I had. Being in the woods, there was any, blah, blah, blah. There wasn't any steady signal, so showing him any types of social media was thrown out the window. Nevertheless, he was still impressed as I had bombarded him with the new information. If what he said was true, then he must have been off of society for a long time. A really long time. Why was he in the woods? What happened to him? I did not realize what he, the huge scar on his arm, blah. Were those stitches? Hmm. Oh God, Alan, what happened to you? Before me and Alan continued to talk about the day, we made our way to the park. I wonder why Erica wanted me to come, but I didn't have to study or do anything anything class related, which is what usually what she usually calls me for. I'm messing up all over the place. She told me that she doesn't usually date classmates and hang out with them outside of class because, well, too many guys thought that she had a chance to borrow my bras and were disappointed after I had gall to reject them. Yikes. Probably why she decided to approach me rather than any of the male classmates. Voya. Voya. <laughs> I'm losing my voice, y'all. Let me get a sip of water. Water break. Make sure you guys are drinking your water. Hydrate, please.
Ooh. And it sounds my voice sounds a little bit better now. <laughs> a voice I didn't recognize called my name. Alan puts on a displeased look, his eyes watching the other side of the part. I could see two people. One I could immediately recognize as Erica, but the other person, however, I've never seen him before. How did he know my name? Oh my god, Voya. <laughs> uh, hi. This guy was short, eccentric, eccentric, blah, messed up. <laughs> From the tone of my voice, he could tell I was confused. Do you not remember me? He sounded kind of disappointed. Jeez, dude, now you're making me feel bad. I gave him a good long look. The hamster wheels in my head began to move. Actually, Stu? The guy gave me a smile and wink. <laughs> right on. <laughs> look at him. He's such a nerd compared to... <sighs> no, because he might be... Like, if they give me a chance to choose between him or her, him or Alan, it might be better to choose the good guy because I might get killed. <laughs> right on. Oh my god, it was him. I could see the life nearly draining out of his eyes. Goodness gracious, this is Erica. Erica's nice. I could barely hold my excitement in. Stu was a good friend of mine back since we were kids. Even before the two of us attended school together, we knew each other. It was when I left for college, we kind of lost touch. Why didn't you <laughs> just greet me yourself, you bozo? I wanted to surprise you. What a guy. He always had something up his sleeve. He seemed quite as pleased as I was. I didn't think it would have missed him so much. No. Oh, I totally forgot. I've been so caught up with Stu and Erica, I seem to have just left Alan out of the conversation. However, by the look on his face, it didn't appear that he wanted to be a part of this. I felt kind of bad. This is Alan. Hey. His tone was very uninterested. The three remained silent after Alan greeted himself. Erica had this look in her eye. I couldn't tell what she was thinking, but she appeared to be deep in thought. Please, someone break the silence. I think it's going to have to be me. Let's break the silence. Great. Looks like it's up to me. So wait. All three of them looked at me once I spoke up. How did you and Erica know each other? Stu remained silent, but Erica spoke up for him. Oh, he approached me after seeing me talking to you after class, saying he knew you. I was a bit stunned. Did Stu go to some college, go to the same college as me and Erica did? What a, that's a bit questionable. <laughs> Alan spoke up. It was a little startling since he was a, he has only said one word this entire conversation erica only eyes him with stan Stu. i almost want to call him stan i swear seems to become stiff things seem to have gotten a bit out of hand now why didn't you just approach voya in the first place that's true why didn't he Stu was always the type to make the first move when greeting someone Hey now, it's a little rude to intrude on someone when you first met, don't you think, big guy? Don't call him big guy, you're a nice friend. Hydrating. You're avoiding the question. The two were staring at each other down. Oh God, me and Erica look at each other as if we both read each other's minds plagued with worry surprisingly erica stepped in thank god if you really want to know he approached me first because he was asking for my number oh that makes more sense oh i see what voya no i get it i'll see you around then Stu. it was at this point alan took hold of me with a satisfying look on his face 
he knew he had the draws in the beginning you're the bad boy it is like inevitable for me to end up with you so he knew he didn't have to do all that but i'm just saying without a word he took me away from the park he wrapped his arms around me protectively i can't oh my god phone please people leave me alone let me finish recording i can't explain why but him being so close to me like this brought me comfort he gave me a comforting smile which i also returned oh yeah wait i look back seeing erica running up to me Stu right behind her I do feel bad for leaving them behind at the top, <laughs> at the drop of the hat, excuse me. Alan looked at me, shaking his head disapprovingly, as if telling me that talking to them wasn't worth it. Let me explain myself, please. Listen to him. Let, let, okay, so I'm going to listen to him. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt that he wasn't trying to holler at her. He just saw us together and didn't know how to approach. I'm going to say that it was this was the kind of relationship that... Um, was like he he was in love with her didn't know how to approach her so he started approaching other girls type of thing like like that kind of guy so let, let's give him the benefit of the doubt maybe he got something nice to say I couldn't leave him like this he was my friend my first ever friend alright Stu go ahead <sighs> he sighed I looking to the ground and fiddling with his pockets and his pants. Listen, Erica worded it weird. I know that back then I wasn't, well, what I mean to say, please don't perceive me in the type of, in that type of way, excuse me. I really just wanted to see you. I heard enough, Stu. I just blew him off so quickly. I just blew him off so quickly I didn't even say nothing that's crazy I gave him a reassuring smile remembering Stu back then he was a kind of a flirt with everyone it shouldn't surprise me that he tried to get with Erica I don't know if I got upset at Stu for still getting it into his old ways or that I got upset that he was flirting with Erica uh, just, uh you don't know why and I don't care. <laughs> I just want to get this feeling off my chest. I breathe out, still smiling at the two of them. <sighs> I know you're trying your best. I am. He said it so seriously, but yet with so much sincerity. And with that, I left with Alan. I knew it. She was going to leave with Alan. <laughs> I tried to relax. Try to distract myself. I was bundled into a ball at the end of the couch with Alan sitting on the other side. The living room was dark, with only the light from the TV giving away giving away light, excuse me, life. My attention wasn't on the TV, however. It was towards Alan. His eyes stayed glued to the screen before he shifted them in my direction. This is the second time I've been caught staring at him. I averted my gaze immediately. I must have been weird to him. I bit my tongue. Ow. You okay? I'm sorry. Are you still upset about what happened? I didn't want to really answer, but my silence was deafening. I'm being stupid. Sorry. I don't know why I got so upset. I couldn't control it. I could see him softening his face at the corner of my eyes. I didn't know why I started rambling to him, but I did. I suddenly felt the weight on top of me. I was being pushed down onto my back. Alan had pinned me, his hands gently wrapping around my waist. Oh my god. <laughs> Foya. Please don't show nothing nasty. Na okay. Everybody, unless, unless they say to just kiss. If you're underage, go away. Be good and be responsible. And skip past this part. I hit my lip on the mic. Skip past this part. Okay? Don't watch this. You know you can tell me anything. 
Alan. My heart started to pound. I felt him starting to come closer to my face. I went stiff. <gasps> oh, oh God, okay, 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 okay. Whoa. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. We're just gonna kiss. We're just gonna kiss. If it, maybe we, maybe we we'll do a little more, but we're just gonna kiss right now. I pressed my lips against his. He seemed to be taken by surprise, but leaned into our kiss. It was deep and passionate. Alan then pressed up against me, and I could immediately feel his excitement. Okay, this is not a drill. Go away. <laughs> be responsible. Be responsible if you are not above 18. Be responsible and go away. It is not for you. I really like you, doe eyes. I shivered. His breath tickled the lobe of my ear. You have no idea how you make me feel. Every time I look at you, my heart swells. It's like I want to hold you and never let you go. Ever. His choice of words made me feel something. Although it sounded a tad possessive, he made me feel wanted and cared for. His hands started trailing from my waist, making their way all over my body. Go. Away. <laughs> Alan Pepper kisses from my jaw to my collar. Everything about you is perfect. I want to treasure you. You're the only good person in my life. How could he even speak like this with no sweat? Just hearing those words made me look away in embarrassment. I suddenly feel his hand take hold of my face, pulling me towards his direction. Look at me, doe eyes. I want to see your reaction. <laughs> okay. Deep breaths. This is going to be a long recording. This really is. Because I'm over here flustered. Like, I got the vapors. <laughs> I got the vapors, y'all. <laughs> He shouldn't be this good. Arousal started growing inside of me. One quick swift motion. He hooked my pants and underwear to my ankles. Y'all, I'm telling y'all go away. Because if they show anything, I'm not responsible. His mouth was hungry, ravenous, leaving kisses at the exposed skin of my thighs. Then I felt something sharp. Are you biting me? Didn't get an answer but I could feel the curling of a smirk forming against his inner, <laughs> my inner thigh. The only response was another bite, sinking his teeth deeper. He was trying to mark me multiple times. <sighs> You're already just for me. Is a few little bites all it takes, Doe Eyes? Let me get some water. I mean, I need a little sippy sip of water. Uh. Oof. He could have gotten a retort, excuse me. He could have gotten a retort out of me, but I was stopped when he pulled up my hips towards his face and ran his tongue. Who knew you would taste so sweet as well? Oh my god. Oh my. This man. Is going from the back. We all know that's what he's doing. I don't care what nobody say. <laughs> His mouth started to work in. <laughs> in desperation. My own hands focused on running my hand. <laughs> Running down to his head where I took a fistful of his brown hair. <laughs> Certain women know that feeling. <laughs> the tiniest touch of his, whether it would be a gaze, a graze from his fingertips or his tongue, was pushing me a little closer to the edge. 
I could feel the heat building up like a low burn at the pit of my stomach. He then detached himself. Alan? I don't want to finish just yet, Doe Eyes. I want more of you. Oh my goodness. I know it sounds weird. I swear, I'm not I'm not having any feeling like that towards this. I'm just saying, I'm just excited for them. <laughs> That's like, I'm excited that they got their relationship to next level type of thing. Like, oh my God, I'm so happy for you type of thing. He removed himself from me, hesitantly removing his clothes. It seemed like he was as desperate as I was. I sure wasn't complaining. He got rid of his turtleneck, tossing it off to the side. My eyes couldn't help but to wonder to admire his chip, bold chest, bare chest, bold chest, Jesus. That is until, holy crap, I saw a scar, a huge scar. Oh God, he, did you get hurt recently? In fact, his whole body was covered in injuries. He was in the way, I'm going to sneeze. He was in way worse shape than I expected. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. I'm good. I'm good. More scratches, cigar burns, and again, the scar at the side of his abdomen. It didn't look fresh, but still, how long has he had these before? Alan, what happened to you? Oh, these. He looked away from my gaze, brushing one of his scars. Some of these are from childhood. Others are more recent. We both stood silent with the concern still weighing me down. Don't worry about it. Alan, these are clearly not simple scratch marks. Are you hurt? It's okay, doe eyes. I swear. They didn't even hurt. What? What is he going on about? I'll I'll explain later. Just please let's keep going. I want you right now. I shouldn't push it if he doesn't want to talk about it. Okay. It's okay, Doe Eyes. You can relax with me. Don't call me doe eyes. Oh, God. This is so hard. Okay. I'm having like a dilemma because I'm scared that he's going to do something evil to me. But it might, he might not. He might just be a really good guy. And, you know, he got hurt. Oh, God. Am I falling in the trap? Did I, did I just fall for the, for the bad boy? The, the F boy? Did I just do that? Oh, God. He was soon all over me again positioning himself between my legs, his hands prying them open. I could feel him. We can take it nice and slow. I want you to want me. All in one go, I feel him buried in... S it's so hard. It's so hard to read this because I'm like, oh, I don't want to get demonetized for it, but I'm like... It's not that bad. I'm like, they're they're going around it in a nicer way and stuff. Because they could just be like, he was. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, they could be, they could say something like that. So, but they're not. I think I just woke my pumpkin up. All in one go. I feel him buried inside. Tilt the hilt. I couldn't help but. Let my breath hitch. <laughs> I ain't gonna read that. Must get past that. Y'all read it yourselves. If you didn't, go back and pause it. His hips began to move along with mine. The movement started slow and quickly built up speed. God, you feel so good. Can you feel me? All the way. I'm not gonna read the rest. His mouth went towards my neck, attacking any spot that might cause a reaction. Sure enough, he did. He didn't give me any time to process, but I don't care anymore. I just want him. I need him. Look at you. You look amazing like this. I can't believe. Each word he spoke was followed by a rough, th 
<sighs> okay. Each time I could feel my mind getting fuzzy. I can't believe I get to keep you like this. You're all mine. 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 I was his. All his. <laughs> He's like, you're mine. You're mine with each pump. We're going to say pump. With each pump, you're mine. You're mine. She's like, I'm his. I'm his. <laughs> Girl. He was rough and I could see him barring his teeth, almost animalistic. Toe eyes, I love you. My mind went blank. He held me tightly as something. Mm. Okay, y'all read it. I did. I'm not going to. He grunts and we both lie sweating, catching our breath. My hand drift up to his brown hair and I slowly begin to stroke it. I really hope you're talking about his head. I really hope you're talking about his head. <laughs> because last time I checked, man, don't even want to be touched after that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> we must have stayed for a few good minutes. Holding each other. Hey, I got an idea. Do you plan robbing a convenience store again? Alan got up from, <laughs> from my chest, rolling his eyes. I'll leave that for another day, but no. I think you'll like this much better. Oh, God. He took me into the woods. I was like, <laughs> he gave me... He gave me Long John Silver and now he about to really get me Long John Silver. He were the hatch of that. Please tell me he lost it or something. He took my hand and guided me back into the woods. It was a bit of a walk. I'm so glad that's over. I it was a tad bit cringy. Like most of our little get togethers, but for some reason it felt longer than before gradually the trees became sparse and patches <laughs> of the night sky peeked through the branches we were going uphill but a bit of a hike on the way there he seemed to have noticed that i was getting fatigued if you want i can carry you it's no bother no uh you're fine mm -hmm. i'm good you don't need to do anything I would simply feel bad for making him carry me all the way up. You're gonna be cute. <laughs> it's easy to say that when you've been inside someone. Shut up. See? Oh, look at them. Look how cute he is right there. We both laid down on the soft grass. The sky was completely bare of any clouds and any darkness of the woods that made <laughs> Tiniest dots of stars twinkle brighter. Sorry. It was so nice and cool out here. I looked over to Alan, eyes glowing with awe. It made me smile, seeing him like a kid in a candy store. What's your favorite? Hmm? Constellation, I mean. Oh, my eyes itching. Sorry, 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 you guys. Something like really hit my eye and started itching what's your favorite constellation um your zodiac sign my favorite constellation is constellation constellation jesus is my zodiac one really which one um for most of the people who don't know you new, you know the new people that's watching this stuff i am a cancer that's cool yeah which one is your favorite? Oh my god. You're one of those. The Orion. The Hunter one? Why is that? The story behind it is cool. And I stare and I share the same last name. Alan Orion? That's your full name? Alan simply gave me a nod. Sighing peacefully, taking in the fresh air around us. You sure know a lot about the constellations, huh? Yeah, ever since I was a kid. That was probably the first thing I know something personal about him. My phone was ringing, sorry. My eyes went from looking at the stars to the stitched scars on his arm. 
Alan? Hmm? About those scars? Oh. Oh, look how cute he is. I see his smile drop and I immediately feel bad for bringing it up. I'm sorry. I know you probably don't want to talk about it, but it's okay. You just worried about me, right? I gave him a nod, laying on his side, looking over him, looking over to him, excuse me. I gave him a few moments for him to collect his thoughts. He finally spoke. Well, to start off, most of these scars are recent, only due to my <laughs> recklessness. Yeah, I feel like I'm Alan. Like, <laughs> like trying to feed a bear? Alan? I know, I know, it was dumb. Extremely dumb. I lightly pushed him in the arm as if I was, it was some sort of punishment for putting himself in danger like that. He only retaliated with a soft chuckle. <sighs> His smile faded, however. Not all of them are new, though. He shifted uncontrollably, so excuse me, uncontrollably. I gave him another moment. I was kind of a troubled kid. Got bullied a lot as well. Got pretty tired of it as I got physical. So, those cigarette burns are from your bullies? No, those were from my older brother. What? Wow, you have terrible brothers, I'm sorry. You have a brother? He did that to you? I have three, actually. <sighs> this was spinning my entire world. Alan must have been through a lot. Is that why he's in the woods? To escape from it all? We were pretty dysfunctional. My mom constantly in and out of the hospital. So two of my brothers, excuse me. So two of my brothers had to take care of us. The eldest, he burned cigarettes on me whenever I would win a fight, telling me I finally became what I was meant to do. Oh, that made me feel bad. It was to fight and not to let others push me. I hate to say it worked. What about the other brothers? The second eldest wanted to pretend that everything was fine and ignore our problems. He was desperately trying to be the dad of the group when he didn't need it one. I needed a brother. He heavily sighed with his rant. I need water. I'm losing my voice. This is going on. I feel like I've been reading for an hour and 30 minutes now. But also with the people cutting me off and stuff, it could have been less than that. He heavily sighed with his rant. I kept myself quiet to let him continue. My youngest brother, I got along with him first, but he wasn't the worst of all of them, but we had to fall, had a fallen out, excuse me. I'm sorry. It's all right. They were nothing compared to my high school life. I got called Crazy Eyed Allen by my entire class. Oh, He does have crazy eyes, but it's not like a bad thing. They're actually really cute on him. And then they made him feel bad. I tell people this all the time now. My school life was pretty crappy. So when people say, yeah, I had a terrible school life, like it hurts my feelings because we shouldn't go through this at school. We should be learning and stuff. But yet, for some reason, we still have to fight and get bullied at school to the point where we hate school. It's sickening, to be honest. I only gave him a sad expression, feeling incredibly sorry for him. I scooted closer to him, practically touching shoulders. I can't imagine how long he must have endured it. <sighs> One instance in particular pushed me over edge. The day I decided to drop out of school, leave my family, and never look back. We both stayed silent, continuing to look up at the sky. I always thought I was meant to be alone. I didn't like being around people. 
and now you're spooged in a girl like you've been alone your whole entire life and then you got some yeah taco bowl congratulations i started to feel his hand starting to brush against mine that wasn't until i met you doe eyes he took a hold of my hand squeezing it tightly it made my heart race Alan, hmm? I look over to him, meeting his eyes, giving me the softest expression I have ever seen from him. I think your eyes are beautiful, yeah. I think you have very beautiful eyes. A smile slowly creeped onto his, and I could see his face redden. Thank you. I think we should go back home now. All right then. We both got up from our spot. I stretched out my arms, feeling for a yo- uh, feeling a yawn coming up. Excuse me. Alan noticed, standing beside me. Let me carry you. It's fine, Alan. I'm just a little tired. Before I can get on my feet, I felt his arms hook around my legs and back, and proceeded to pick me up from the ground at ease. Hey. He gave me a smile, holding me closer to his body. I insist. I gave in, pouting on my way there. (laughs) This is sound, they both sound like me. This is like half me and Voya's actual Voya. (laughs) I gave in, pouting on my way there before my eyes began to grow heavy. I leaned into his chest, making... (laughs) And my personal pillow and resting my eyes. Oh my goodness. I could barely tell what was going on around me. Only feeling a body being set down on something soft and comfortable. Your bed. I smile, cuddling up to something soft I could find next to me. Before I drifted off to sleep, something warm pressed against my cheek and I heard Alan's voice. Good night, doe eyes. Well, that was lovely. Some parts, okay, so some parts I felt like it could have done without. Like, I don't know why her friend could stand in and stuff and talk to her and stuff. Personally, I feel like, you know, Stu and Erica were irrelevant to the story. If they just kept just their interactions together it was still been a great story but all in all this was a wonderful story i apologize for the you know the miss ups the mistakes and all that other stuff i can only apologize for so much but you know if you stayed this long thank you guys so much oh my goodness i truly 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 appreciate it i am going to go rest and relax if you want to see this game it's on each.io um yeah this was a lovely game i loved it so i'll see you guys in the next video okay peace and love